Fellowship And then welcome sa lahat ng mga kabataan na nasa ating Zoom kay Bianca. Hello, Biangs. Hi, Biangs. Yang, hello, special mention. And then hello sa mga kabataan na nandito sa loob. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> And then welcome sa mga mapasok ng ating church. Hi! Welcome, princess. And then, Aki. Okay. okay. And then, wait lang. May I know your name? Sister Stella and then si... Hindi. Katabi mo, Joy. Yung katabi mo. Kat. Kat. Yan. So, welcome sa ating Youth Fellowship um, service. And then, we hope na next week is um, patuloy pa rin namin kayo makasama sa ating Youth Fellowship. And then, also, yung mga kabataan nga sa likod, please, um, mamunan na tayo. Focus sa ating gagawin sa hapon na to. And then, pwede po ba maghiwahiwalay tayo as I mentioned earlier. Yan. Let's maintain two seats apart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yun kailangan kami Okay, children, are you ready? <laughs> Yun kailangan kami nibilangan. And so, may hapon na to, tayo ay magkupuhi sa ating Panginoong Diyos. And let's set aside everything na iniisip natin na negative. Basta i-prepare po natin yung heart natin sa pagtanggap ng kanyang salita. And then i-prepare din natin yung isip natin. ba? Diba? So, this afternoon, continue, uh, tayo ay diba ako na sa ating youth fellowship. So, tayo lahat ay tumayo and tayo ay manalangin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this afternoon given to us. I pray that let your Holy Spirit be with us. And I pray uh, para na na kayo po yung patuloy na magbigay ng wisdom and knowledge sa amin. And then I pray i-open you po yung heart and um, aming pag-iisip po kung tanggapin ng inyong salita. And I pray pang nagbusogin niyo po kami ng um, inyong salita. And sa hapon na ito, we claim the victory in the name of Jesus. And gamitin niyo po Panginoon, itago niyo po sa liko kanyo tao ang gagamitin niyo. for this afternoon. I pray, Panginoon, ikaw po ang tumagit na at ikaw po ang makita at sa iyo po namin may bigay yung pinakamataas na papuri at pagsamba. Ito po ang dalawin sa Panginoon Yesus. Amen. So, palakbakan natin ng ating Panginoong Diyos and this afternoon tayo ay kakanta taawit sa ating Panginoon sa pangumunamang music team. Ayan, hayut! <laughs> Ayan, di ba kayo natutuwa ang dami natin? Ha? Parang matamlay tayo. Pag madami, onte matamlay din kayo. Ulit, hayut! <laughs> Sabi niya, hi! <laughs> Ayan, kung ready na tayo ngayon hapon, sumigaw, sumigaw nga naman lang sa Amen! Parang wala talaga tayong gana. Kumain na ba kayo? Nagtanghalian na ba kayo? Tanghalian na kayo? Sinong gutom? Oh, sumigaw lahat ng gutom. Sinong busog? Sumigaw lahat ng busog. Woo! <laughs> so wala. In between kayo. Busog na gutom. Ganun kayo. Ha? Wala talaga ako makausap sa akin. Ulit, hayut! Ayan, sige. Kaway-kaway kayo sa gilid nyo. Sa gilid nyo. Ayan. Kawin niyo sa gilid nyo. Hi! Kawin sa inyo siya. Kamusta? Tanungin mo, kumain ka na ba? Anong sagot? Ayan. Sige. Sa likod. Kawin kawin kayo sa likod nyo. Kawin kayo sa likod nyo. Hi! O, dito muna tayo. Kawin kayo sa... Saan ba tawag dito? Sa kal kanan. Kaliwa, o kaliwa sa inyo, sa POV niyo. O kaway kayo sa kanila, hi! O kayo naman, kaway kayo sa kanila. Hi! Hindi ba kayo magkakakilala? Magkakakilala, bakit nahihiya kayo sa isa't isa? Ha? O kapay niyo, tapik niyo yung katabi niyo. Tanungin niyo kung gising siya, baka tulog eh. Ano niyo, gising ka ba? Ano niyo, gising ka? Kung gising, lakihan nyo ng mata kung gising kayo. Lakihan nyo yung mata yung kapat ng katabi nyo.
Ayan, sige. Para magising tayo, stretching muna tayo ng ano, ng saglit lang. Ayan, sige. Taas na dalawang kamay. Taas! Yeah, shake nyo, shake. Sa, sa kaliwa. Kanan, oh Kanan nyo yan, sige. Sa kaliwa. Sa baba. O, oh, ayan, sige. Ta talon tayo ng limang beses. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Hindi ito nga talon dito eh. Talon tayo dito ah. Tignan nyo kung tatalon sila ah. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. O kayo dito, tatlong beses. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Yay! Gising na ba kayo? Gising na ba ang lahat? Gising na? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. <laughs> Okay na. Taas yung dalaw yung kamay. Ayan. Shake niyo uli. <laughs> Shake niyo uli. Ayan. While well, we're waiting for the music team. Ayan. Sige, stretching muna tayo. Uli. Taas. Ayan. Sa kabila. Sa kabila. Ayan. Palakpak naman tayo ngayong hapon. Ayan, sige. Magkano muna tayo ng maikling icebreaker. Ayan. Pag sinabi kong kanan, uupo kayo. Pag sinabi kong kaliwa, tatayo kayo. Ano? Pag kanan? Pag kanan? Pag kaliwa? Okay. One, two, three. Right! Right! <laughs> right! <laughs> Bakit kayo nakaupo? Ang sabi ko lang, kaliwa at kanan. Ayan, hindi kayo nakikinig. Wala mo sinabi kung English man o Tagalog. Ayan, ready na ba ang lahat? Buhay na ba tayo? Ang dami ko nang pinagawa sa inyo. Ha? <laughs> Buhay na ba tayo? Sumigaw na malakas na amen. Dito, dito sa side na to, tataw ang bar ko. Sumigaw na malakas na amen. Amen. Ayan, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Ayan, let's start giving praises to our Lord. And let us sing desert song. Let's sing. This is my prayer in the desert when all that's within me is right. This is my prayer in my hunger and need. My God is the God who will provide. This is my prayer. This is my prayer in the fire and weakness will try our pain. There is a faithful the more with than gold. So refine me, Lord, through the flame. I will bring praise, I will bring praise. No weapons form against me shall remain. I will rejoice and I will declare. God is my victory and He is here. Let's sing, this is my prayer. This is my prayer in the battle. When triumph is still on its way I am a conqueror and cruel with Christ So here by my strong miss of sand I will bring praise, I will bring praise No weapons form against me shall remain I will rejoice and I will declare God is my victory in his This is my prayer in the desert when all that's within me feels right. This is my prayer in my hunger and need. My God is the God who provides. And this is my prayer in the fire and weakness will try all of There is a faithful of more with than gold. So refine me, Lord, truth. Let's sing, I will bring praise. I will bring praise, I will bring praise. No weapons form against me shall remain. I will rejoice, I will declare. God is my victory in His King. Isa pa, kumantay mo kayo. Let's sing, I will bring praise. I will bring praise. 
bring praise, I will bring praise. No weapon form against me shall remain. I will rejoice and I will declare God is my victory and he is king. Let's sing all of my life. All of my life, in every season, you are so good. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. All of my life, in every season, you are so good. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. Blessing all of my life. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. All of my life, in every season, you are so good. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. I will bring praise. No weapons fall against me shall remain. I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and he is here. Ayan, para pa ka naman natin ang Panginoon. Let's continue giving worship to our Lord. And let's sing one thing with me. Let's sing higher. Higher than the mountains that I face. Stronger than the power of the grave. Constant through the trial and the change. Swan Never 
fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Wikaan chapter 7 verse 1. Aking anak, salita ang sana sa lahat. Tanim sa isip at buhuwag kalimutan.
At ang pangunawa na way kaibigang matalik, pagkat ito ang sa iyo'y maglalayo sa babaeng mapang, mapanganluy ng di ka ba di mabinghani ng matamis niyang matat, pananalita. Ang babaeng mapangalun niya. Ako ay dumungaw sa balitang bukas at ako'y sumilip sa pagitan ng rehas. Ang aking nakita'y maraming kabataan, ngunit may naba, napansin akong isang mangmang. Naglalakad siya sa may panulukan. Ang tinulungay sa babaeng tahanan, tuwing sasapit ang gabi, ito'y kanyang ginawa. Sa ilalim ng hating, hating gabi, kapag talog na ang madla, ang babae ang sa kanya'y sumu, sumalubong sa pintuan, mapangakit, Kapandin lang sa nasagwang kasuotan. Maingay ang kanyang boses. Kilos niya ay maharot. Di matigil sa tahanan. Di mapigil sa paglibot. Ngayon sa lansangan mayay mayay sa liwasan. Walang ano-anoy sa panulo, panulukan doon siya nag-aabang. Lalakin kanyang susunggapan at pupug, pupugin ng halik. At ang kanyang sasabihin punong-puno ng pangakit, nasa amin ngayon ang marami kong mga hantog. Katatapos ko lang tupid, tupin ang panata ko sa Diyos. Ako ay narito upang ikay salubungin. Mabutit nakita kita pagta, pagkatapos kong hana, hanapin. Ang aking higa ay sinap, sinapinan ko ng mapa, makapal. Hinumubat ng Egipto. Iba't iba pa ang kulay. Ito ay aking winisika ng pabangong mira, bukod pa sole at mabangong kanela. Halika at bigyang daan, namdamin ng isa't isa. Ang, magand- ang magnamag ay ubusin sa paglas- paglasop ng ligaya. Ako, ako ay nag-iisa, asawa ko ay nasa malayo. Pagkat siya ay umalis sa ibang lugar, nagtungo Marami ang bo- baon niyang salapi. Pagbilog pa ng buwan ang kanyang uwi. Sa salita mapangakit ang lalaki ay nahimok. Sa matamis na salita, damdamin niya ay nahulog. Maamo siyang sumunod sa babae at pumasok. Parang bakang kakatayin sa matador ay sumunod. Mailap na usa, sa matibong ay nahulog. Hanggang sa puso nito ang palaso ay maglapos. Ay maglapos. Nang buong napasok sa lambat ang kanyang nakakatulad, hindi niya na malayang buhay pala ang katumbas. Kaya nga ba, aking anak, sa akin ay makinig at dinggin mo ang salitang mala sa aking bibig. Huwag mo ngang hahayaang ang puso mo ay maakit. Nang babaeng ang tub- Tuntunin ay landasing makal- makalibis. Pagkat marami na ang kanyang naipahamak at hindi na mabibilang nabuwal sa aking yapak. Sa bahay niya'y nagmumula ang landas ng kasawian. Tiyak na patungo sa malalim na kamatayan. Amen. Good afternoon. Okay, I, I can hear your heart. You say good afternoon. I hope you remember this verse, not just color. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I saw that last, last week, the yellow one, but the content I do not remember. I hope you also remember this content. Okay, this is the theme of the Proverbs. So, Sana, we can memorize this verse. Okay, let's read it together. One, two, three, go. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, let me try. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. I'm still confusing. Who can memorize? 
Ah, Joey, can you do? You do like this. Can you? Will you try? Uh -huh. Okay, pala pala natin siya. Very good. Sino pa? Who can memorize? Loren, kaya mo? Walang cheating. Try. <laughs> it's the beginning. Uh -oh. Okay. It's okay. Sino? Oh, Charles, kaya mo? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the. Oh. Okay, thank you, Pala Pala Natisha. So it's a, a little bit confusing, but let's just try to keep memorized. Just you are normal. I'm also I'm confusing the knowledge or in understanding. I'm confusing also, but let's just try. That's why we repeat and repeat and repeat. But please remember the content, not just the color, okay? Oh, I remember the young yellow. But I know about So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. I have a copy here so I can repeat it. So today I cover chapter six and chapter seven. Okay, because they are connected. They tell them repeat the, the almost the same thing. So I combine them and we read the chapter seven only. Thank you for reading that. So if you didn't read the chapter six, you read at home. Okay. And then today I want I prepare the top four message. The first one is obey instruction and teaching. Please uh, trust me, pro whole proverb will tell number one. Second, be diligent. Be diligent. Third, do not do what God hates. Okay? And the fourth, right, be pure. Be pure about what? We have to think about it. And what God hates, we have to think and we should not do it. And be diligent, what's the meaning of being diligent? If I ask, hey, are you diligent? Not sure. Sometimes you're very diligent what, to do what you want to do. But sometimes not diligent when she has to do what I ask her to do, especially study, right? But most of the time she is a diligent. She wake up early in the morning for her class. I think she is a, a, a diligent. And obey instruction and teaching. So four thing I will cover today. It is very short message. Please don't sleep. Don't go away. <laughs> please be with me, okay? It is very short. So please uh, be with me. Number one, next. The Proverbs continually tell us obey instructions and teaching, okay? The Proverbs chapter six, verse 20, 21 tells like this. My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. Be, bind them on your heart always. Tie them around your necks. Bind it in your heart and tie them around your neck. It means always remember it and follow it. If you are ever feeling like that you are doing something and you hear mothers are shouting, though she does not shouting, have you ever experienced that? If you... The Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20, 21 is that if your father and your mother teach you how to serve God, remember it all the time and do it. Okay, that is the message of this one. Next one. Chapter, se no, no. chapter 7, verse 1 to 3. My son, keep my words and treasure up my commandment with you. Keep my commandments and live. 
keep my teaching as the apple of your eye, bind them on your finger, write them on the tablet of your heart. The chapter seven also tells you the same thing. Bind the teaching of your parents on your neck and put it in your heart. It means value their teaching. Okay, so next, we have, maybe we can't, no, no, next one. Maybe we are wondering why, okay? I understand that the Bible says obey instruction and teaching, but why? Why do we, why do we have to obey teaching? Why do we have to obey the instruction? Okay, the, we need to think about the why. Okay, next one. The Proverbs teach us, next one, please. Isapa, why should we obey the instruction and teaching? Because of these four functions of teaching and wisdom. The Proverbs chapter six and seven tells the function of teaching and wisdom. That's why they say obey it. Okay, what is the function? Number one is it leading your ways. When you don't know where to go, wisdom and teaching tell you where to go. Number two, protecting us even when we sleep. When we sleep, we are, we cannot protect our bodies. Have you ever watched it in the movie that the, the professional killers, even they are sleeping, if their enemy come, they But usually we don't do. If somebody turn on the light, oh, you know, you can't hindi na recognize. So we are, uh, we cannot protect ourselves when we sleep. But if we follow the teaching and wisdom, it protect us even when we sleep. It means we will be always safe. Okay? If you want to be safe all the time, this is the reason why you have to obey the instruction and teaching. Number three is walking with us in our lives. So when we are walking our ways, we are not alone. We have a company, the wisdom and teaching. Imagine that your life is wisdom and teaching. How blessed. Number four is preventing us from falling temptation of evil woman. Evil woman is not only for the men, not only for the boys. Evil woman, let's think that it is symbolized the evil rela social relationship. Okay, so think about four function. The four function of the teaching and wisdom. And then if you want this happen to you, this is the reason why we obey instruction and teaching. Okay, so this is the reason. The teaching and wisdom can lead our ways and protect, walk with us and then protect us from the temptation. That's why we have to obey instruction and teaching. And then what instruction, what teaching, it will come continually in the Proverbs. Okay, don't worry about that. Second, second na, be diligent. I think most of you know this verse. Go to the end, the sluggard, consider her way and be wise without having any chief officer or ruler. Uh, I think, okay, so they, they can, have you ever observed the ants? Diba? Walang construct, uh, walang commander, walang chief, but they follow the ways. If you pour hot water, they just disappear, but later they come again. They work very hard. So from the ants, the Bible says to be diligent. But next, please, we have to know the different, next one, difference between being lazy and diligent. Okay, what is the meaning of being religion, diligent? Okay, click. Being diligent does not mean take no rest. Workaholic, no, that is not good. Be diligent does not mean take no rest. So feel free to take a rest. Yesterday, Suji, asked, Suji and Tay asked me, Mama, I do not want to study, but I have a quiz, but I cannot focus. Can I play a game or a little bit? Okay, so yeah. So when you have to study, but if you cannot study, focus, 
take a rest, play, and then study. That is a diligent. But if you have the quiz and then you have to study, but you cannot concentrate, that's why you just play and no study, that is the lazy. So be diligent in the Proverbs. It says like this, click please. First of all, diligent means no expected needs and prepare it like ants. Ants know what would happen if they do not work when they have a time. They need the food. That's why they work. Like the, what do you need for your future? What do you need for your grade? What do you need for your goal? Know it and prepare it. That is the be diligent. That's why your mothers and fathers tell the study hard. But I do not know how many of you agree that you have to study hard. How many, can you raise your hands? I, I know I have to study hard. Oh, voila. Oh, te, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Suji. Oh, so you think, you think, I panic, I in the man. <laughs> How many of you think that you have to study hard? How many of your mothers tell study hard? Your mom tell you study hard, Anna. Oh, yeah, I think so. I agree. How many of you? So be diligent is to know expected needs. What do you need? So know it and prepare it. Okay? For example, if you need a study for your future, study it. If you have to learn the skills like cooking, do it for your future. If you have to know how to cut the hair, learn it now. From now on, though you do not study, that is how you prepare your future. Know your needs and prepare it. That is how to be diligent. The next one, be diligent does not mean to take no rest. You need rest, but be productive, not stay lazy. Okay, you play two hours, and then if you got refreshment, and then you have to do your responsibility here. Please remember, be productive does not mean study hard only. Okay? Be productive means that you wake up, wash yourself. That also be productive. Eat, cook, clean. Have a good friendship. That is also be productive. So do not connect the productive with your study. Do your responsibility. That is how to be productive. For example, you play the games. Okay, play games, but next morning you wake up and go to school and study hard. It is productive. It is okay. You can online. You can play online. I will tell your mom you can play online if you do not sleep at school the next morning. Be productive does not connect to the study just to do your responsibility. Your responsibility play also included. Have a good relationship with your friends and parents, that is also important. Read the Bible, that is also your responsible. Clean, wash, all those things. You know, if you are depressed, if you are severely depressed, you do not shower. Trust me. You never shower, and then you do not meet your friends. Very, very bad situation. That's why if you play with your friends, at least you are not severe depression. Okay? So be productive. If you want to play, play. And do your other responsibilities also. So be diligent. I want you to be diligent. It does not mean take no rest or just to study. No. Take a rest and do your responsibility, including washing yourself, cleaning your room. That is also your responsibility. Next one. Don't do what God hates. Okay? Don't, please, no, don't do what God hates. What does God hate? I summarize Proverbs chapter 6 and 7 tells us that evil, dishonest heart 
words and action that is what God hates. If somebody tell you harmful things, you are useless. That is evil words. God never wants you to do that. God never you want to hear it. Don't do the what God hates. Next, please. So specifically, the Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19 tells what God hates. Okay? Remember it, what God hates. Haunty eyes, lying tongue, hands that shield innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plan. Feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness to breathe out lies, one who sow discord among brothers. It means click please again. All those things click, Loren, evil, dishonest heart, words, and action. Not just to think, not just words, not just action, everything. Your thought, your words, your action. We shouldn't do any evil, dishonest words and think and then actions. God never wants you to do it. Okay? So what are you doing among those things? Do you have a haughty eyes? Do you have a lying tongues? Do you make the discord? This, do you make mga away sa mga kaibigan? God never wants you to do that. So remember... Just the smoking is a sin. I do not recommend you to smoke, of course. Can I use the drug? I will say no, no, no. But is smoking, drinking, drug, is that only sin? Evil, dishonest words, thought, and action, all they are sins. If you think the evil things, you are always committing sin, though you do not drink. Don't judge others. Dishonest, evil, thought, the words and action, all God hates. So don't do that. Next, the last one. Be pure. Be pure. Pure about what? The Proverbs 6 and 7 tells that uh, be pure sexually. Be pure against adultery. Because the Proverbs chapter 26, uh, 7 and 28 tell the adultery hurts the spouse and destroy oneself. Just imagine that you hold the fire, charcoal here, very hot. You hold it. Are you okay? You are Iron Man. You will be okay. But you are not Iron Man, diva. Right? Oh, you are not Elsa. If you hold the charcoal, hot charcoal, your hands will burn. Your body will burn. The so adultery can hurt your husband or wife, but it also hurt you. It destroys you. That's why the Bible says, be pure. Actually, be pure against adultery. Okay? So in the future, how many of you will marry? <laughs> no one marry. I will see <laughs> how many of you will marry. Think about it. Though you are still young, think about it. And if you marry, please choose only one who will live forever. Okay? So next one. See and think. Okay, this is the family. Okay, father, mother, two children. Next. But one day, father has a girlfriend. He loved another lady, not his wife. So next. That's why he left. Anong nangari yung mga bata? Oops. Next. Pero okay naman kasi nanay at ate ay matibay. Kaya they hold the baby. So, okay naman siya. Kahit may hurt, okay pa. But next. So, sana pa. Pero, because of his father, mother got a broken heart. Okay, next. Then one day, one gentleman come to him. So, she loved 
her new boyfriend. And then imagine next, if what would happen to the babies if she left? Be pure against adultery. If you marry in the future, just marry only one lady or one man and live forever. It means when you choose your boyfriend or girlfriend, be very serious, okay? And then be responsible for your family. I want you, whatever you do, whether you are tall or small, whether you are Pangit or Maganda, I love you all. And I pray all of you have a very good family. Anna, your children, much happier than you. For that, your decision should be very careful. Today, next, I told you four things. Obey instruction and teaching. Second, be diligent. Number three, do not do, not do what God hates. Number four, be pure. Okay? Ano po bang una? Obey. Remember the function of instruction and teaching. If you love that, obey it. Number two, ano ba? Be diligent. It does not mean to take no rest. No, no, no. You can take rest and do your responsibility. Okay, number three. God hates evil, dishonest thought, words, and action. Don't do that, okay? Number four. Be pure, be pure, okay? Now, if you come because of your boyfriend, if you come because of your girlfriend, or if you come because of your friends, just friend, or if you have come to the church in other purpose, whatever it is, I welcome you. Please come to church. Please come to church. If you have your dream or not, Whatever your situation, please come to church. I welcome you. Okay, please come to church. Who will not be? You are more beautiful than me. Okay, I'm the bottom line. So anybody, I welcome. Please come. Please come to church and find the rest, comfort, peace at the church and go out to give your comfort, peace, Joy to the others. Obey instruction and teaching. Be diligent. Do not do what God hates and be pure. That is the teaching of Proverbs chapter 6 and 7. And I really pray for your future. And whatever your situation it is, though your grade is very low, I don't care. Just come to church and find the peace and comfort and joy and dream at the church and go out to spread it, okay? Let's pray. Lord, thank you very much for touching their heart to come to church today. Whoever they are, I love them because you send them to the church. Lord, I pray for them. I pray for their future. I pray for their dream, and I also pray for their future family. Let them obey your instruction. Let them be diligent. Let them do and not do what God hates, but let them do what God loves, and let them be pure against the other three. Lord, please bless them. Let them find the joy, comfort, and peace and dream at the church and let them go out to spread in the world. Please bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this afternoon, I think I'm um, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng knowledge kung wala tayong um, takot sa ating Panginoon. And then we also remember that the fools despise the wisdom and the instruction from God. So, hindi tayo uh, lahat. Makikita natin doon na kung tayo ay fool, itatanggi natin lagi yung wisdom and instructions na tinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. So, this afternoon, pinakita sa atin yung apat na ways kung ano yung dapat natin gawin. So, lagi natin tatanggaan that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So, wag po tayo maging fools para hindi natin tanggapin yung wisdom na inaalok niya sa atin. Okay? And then, this afternoon, let's continue give our um uh, Pasasalamat sa ating Panginoon sa pangmagitan ng pagbabalik ng ating offering sa hapon na ito. So, let's give our offering to our God with our um, with wholeheartedly and then um, let's focus on Him. Let's pray. Lord, maraming salamat po sa araw na ito at oh, sa offering na ito. Gabayan po ang bawat isa sa araw-araw. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, minsan papalakpakan natin ng ating Panginoon Diyos sa hapon na ito because um, He gave us His words. And yung salita na yun is kailangan ng ating spiritual. So this afternoon, babago po tayo sa ating announcement. So number one po, let's do our kitty for our spiritual growth. So sabi nga, di ba, ulitin ko po, sabi sa Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. So ano sabi doon? One, two, three, go! Alright, one, two, three, go. The fear of the Lord is a beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, lagi natin tatandaan yun. So, let's do our duty every day for our spiritual growth. And then number two, please observe social distance and learn mass. If you have symptoms, you may join online worship. And let's do our best to worship our God in any situation. So, lagi po natin tatandaan and lagi ko po din ma-announce na every time po na tayo ay pupunta sa youth fellowship natin, um, two seats apart, observe po natin yung social distancing and then also uh, tayo po ay gumamit ng mask and then if you have symptoms po, makakajoy naman din po tayo sa ating online worship service. And then number three po is GNPC 11th anniversary on February 20, 2022. On that day, we have face-to-face -face worship only. So please pray for it is so that we can praise God together and at uh, I mean at church. And so the uh, anniversary of him will be used for painting um, the church. So ipapay na natin yung ating. Uh, anniversary offering para sa ating simbahan din yun gagamitin. And then, uh, sa 20, wala po tayong online worship. Tayo lang po ang meron face-to-face. And then, wala din po tayong youth fellowship. 10.30 lang po meron. Kailan yun? February 20. Anong day? Nag-isip pa Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Sunday. So, wala pong youth fellowship ng November. Ah, November. February 20, and then number 5 is QT meeting for high school student at 2 p.m. on the Lord's Day. If you are youth, you can choose to join if for your faith. So, scholarship student of high school should attend it. So, uh, every Sunday, magkakaroon na po tayo ng youth 
uh, I mean, scholars meeting or QT sharing ng mga high school um, students. So, ikaw man ay scholar o hindi, you can join sa 2 p.m. noon. And then, number six is uh, prayer request for QT seminar on February 25th. 2022 in Angelo. So, nag-aas po kami ng prayer request para sa mga gagamitin ng ating Panginoon sa QT Seminar sa Angelo Spampanga sa February 25. And then, last is um, resist evil power in the name of Jesus. So, lagi natin tatandaan na i-resist natin yung evil power in the name of Jesus. So, this afternoon, tayo po lahat ay tumayo para ating i-recite ang ating Lord's Prayer. Let's recite. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon Diyos bilang pagbabalik ng ating papuri sa Kanya. So, see you next Sunday, mga kabataan. And then, see you din sa mga nasa Zoom natin.